Literally the only reason why, and for some reason I can't get Blood River. Okay. Alright, so we're bursting to Zed. I'm gonna try to kill him early. So that means I'm gonna go for Dark Seal and see how it goes. Why? Dark Seal is better early levels because you want to take advantage of the fact that your pots heal fast, you have three of them, and they heal extra. So compared to Doran Shield, Doran Shield will constantly sustain you in the course of the game, right? Welcome to throughout the course of the, the matchup or laning phase. But Doran Shield... Why am I so tiny? Am I just more tinier than usual? What is this? Is this usually how I am? 30 seconds yeah, that's fine. Spawn. Doran Shield allows you to sustain over time, while Dark Seal allows you to heal in a short amount of time. So Dor Dark Seal is actually really good like if you trade a lot in lane. So that's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to try to trade with this Zed a lot. I have a decent amount of damage with uh, the AP from Dark Seal and the AD in my runes. Feels bad. I have the level 5 mastery but it's okay I'm too small but I'm not sure like why does this feel smaller who the fuck knows dude uh, am I rich psych psych okay uh, team comp looks pretty annoying but I'd have to be patient and fight to let my team deal as much damage as possible but my team is super fucking solo queue so I might have to just try to solo carry this Early lane, you just want to like dodge that Qs. Only fools have Trying to make sure the lane doesn't push into me too far. I want the lane to stay in the middle. I could throw a Q here and bounce it off Zed. He's not throwing any Qs, which is weird. Very weird. There it is, there it is. I could throw a Q on him there. Probably gonna hit two first here. Ow. Probably should have saw that coming, but it's okay. Alright, he's harassing me pretty hard, but it's okay. Dark Seal will help me sustain that up. It was weird how he wasn't throwing any Qs. You see how he's walking up to try to harass me here? I could maybe take advantage of it, but he's actually staying back here. Okay, let's see if I can try to take advantage. When he walks up for CS, that's what I'm going to try to uh, get aggressive. So I can set up on him. Here. Like so. You saw he was going up for that CS. If he walks too close again, I can eat W. He might Q might that, that melee minion. He Qs me instead. Okay. Okay, he's going to walk up for something. He's gonna he's gonna just farm back with Q. Playing really safe. He is level three now. Ideally, I want to just shove this in. And just back. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna back up here. If you're really, if you don't feel good about the Zed matchup, you can actually like just build tabbies here if you really wanted to. Um, but I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go longsword here. Back up real quick. If you build the uh, cloth armor, you can go into Tabby's. Because Tabby's is pretty good against them. I'm probably gonna back here. I'm, well, my goal here is to just shove in the next wave. Just push in. He's actually staying, which is weird. No going back. Okay, because he's staying, I actually have like a very big damage lead over him. His W is down, so if he ever gets close... Saw that coming. Holy shit. Get the bounce. I wanted to use his W so that I can take advantage of it being down. Mike you here? Yep. Okay, if he walks up for that CS... Nah, he's not gonna he's not gonna walk up for it, he's just gonna kill it. Yeah, I missed the cannon. He's playing super safe here. So it's it's pretty hard for me to take advantage of him.
Only fools hesitate. So I guess it's just the farmland at this point. Like, there's really nothing going on. He's not walking up or anything. Like, he's just playing this lane super fucking passive. Which is weird. Try to think of Edge will be there. Alright. Lane's pushed in. I could take this time to roam. And by roam, I don't have to necessarily like gank a lane or anything. I could just like just just clear some vision. Just apply some pressure on the map, try to figure out where Gragas is. Just walk back to lane here. He's gonna hit six first, I'm pretty sure, so I gotta be careful for that. Okay, my ultimate here. And I just see out. Okay, we're good. Why? Because I can. Okay, he's gonna back. He's gonna back soon. I'm almost six, actually. Maybe Kane will do something here. If not, I'm gonna stay. Only yeah, tell me this. Is. I want that to W me here. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I could probably I could probably look for Tabby's here. Zed has no sums. So I could maybe take advantage of that. Yeah, I'm gonna get Tabby's here. Okay, Zed's gonna push in again. He actually didn't back his whole laning phase, which was pretty decent on his part. If if that's the playstyle that someone's gonna play, it was better if I went Thoron's shield. Because then I would be able to just sit in lane. But because I had Dark Seal, I ended up backing. So let's see, I get the XP for this. Okay. Okay, no, no real kills. It's pretty passive, pretty passive game right now. Okay, let's see if I could do anything bottom lane here. I have Ignite, I have ulti. Let's hope this is awarded. I could try to ward the red here. Let's so see. Gragas is here. Don't want to fuck with him. Because that's going to be around to help him. Is that my shadow here? Oh, he's not going to shadow. I saw him throw the shadow, so then I eat in to dodge it. Got a really nice trade there. If you, as long as you play around Zed's shadow, he, he can't deal too much damage on you. Him getting that double dagger off actually hurts a lot. No going back. But again, he's playing super safe. So what I can do, I can just last hit these minions and try to zone out as much CS from him as possible. Because he's ultimately just going to shadow and CS like that anyway, so I don't want the lane to push in. He's too scared to walk up. So I'm gonna try to deny as much CS as possible. Okay, Gragas was bottom side, so I'm gonna ward here. First blood. Zed could come here, come in. This game is a very fucking passive game. Very passive game. Alright, Zed use a shadow, I can start walking up here. And again, he's going to play super passive. That's actually going to walk in. So I'm going to try to go down. I got to be careful because that can like cut me off, but... That's it, that's it, that's it. I got him. 
That's fine with me. Means that trade kills. So that's gonna back here, so I'm gonna hard shove this mid lane. Okay, that's actually gonna stay down there, so that's good for me. I'm gonna hard shove this mid lane. So he misses the minions, and I'm gonna back up for tabbies or whatever I need. I think tabbies would be nice. Cause I already have the cloth armor. I don't want the cloth armor to just sit. It takes a lot of space in the inventory. Okay. I can get cloth here. I wish I was able to pick up more kills, but you know, Janus Shield. So I get cloth. I can actually just get Cutlass here if I wanted to. I think I might just do that. Just because I can get it, like, it'll just. I honestly think Revolver is gonna be it's just stronger like after six, but I'm just gonna get it just to get it, just because I can. Might make my build path a little smoother. Zed already ulted. Might be able to take advantage of Zed if he gets too close with the Cutlass. I have boots, so I can actually maybe like take advantage of him. When he walks up too close, I have the movement speed for it. You see how he's just farming with Q? Like, he's gonna miss a lot of CS if I don't exactly push out the lane. You see, like, I'm I'm actually with, uh, up in CS now. Okay, and he's just gonna back. Like, his playstyle is super safe right now. Probably can't walk up and harass him here just because Gragas. He misses. Okay. Damn. I was, I was trying to bait out the mouth vital key. Just see if he would use it. Awkward gank. Awkward gank. Awkward gank. Again, I can start zoning him out here. Oh, but well, Malphite? Never mind. I can start zoning him out here again because you can tell by his playstyle that he's playing super safe. So he, honestly, he doesn't want to walk up, so I'm just going to keep the minions here. Like, around here, that's fine. Yeah, I have to push out of here because that's just roaming bottom. And then I gotta help. Dead. Okay, I'm just gonna keep pushing here. Armor's probably dead here, so I'm just gonna deal as much damage to tower. Bot's definitely dead first. That's coming. Damn, wasn't able to shave him there. Hmm, they actually ended up not getting bought, which is weird. I guess they just cut it. I feel like if Zed stayed bottom, then I think it, they would have actually gotten it. I went for the I went for it there because I had ignite and I have all my abilities. Zed does not have ulti. I'm not gonna jump on jump on the dagger there because potentially he could have had an ulti and killed me. He might still have ulti actually. So I'm gonna back here play it safe. Let's see. I can get um I can get a revolver here. So the Tabby's actually helped me a lot there, but he's gonna end up getting Hexshrinker or maybe like Merc Treads or something. I'm gonna get the Sweeper and try to deal as much pressure as possible by clearing the map, clearing the waves, or clearing the wards inside the jungle and stuff like that. Uh, in terms of team fighting, our, our comp is gonna lose pretty hard. Uh, we have to like go around and make picks rather than like team fight because their team fight is obviously a lot stronger with Janna. So our comp is really bad. So I can't work around our comp here. Is top side. 
try to maybe do something about him. Yeah, there's a dust blade. I don't have both fights on, so I'm just gonna chuck him. Okay, wait, wait for him to ulti, and we're good. Now he doesn't have ulti anymore. The wave's not gonna come for a while, so I'm pretty safe to back here. I can actually just heal up with my second pot, actually. Just gonna shove in. Ooh! Quinn actually got top tower. That's good. Gragas is actually ganking bottom. Malphite actually captured Rift. Oh, was he doing that on his own? It's a Malphite. Following. Oh my god, he actually- Karma actually picked up the kill there. Tilted. Zed doesn't have ulti, so we're good. Damn, that blows. If I got that kill, I would have been able to live, pretty sure. Karma doesn't juke there. Let's see what I need. Malphite... I, I'm pretty sure I just need more damage, and I have to just wait out all their abilities, because my bot lane is losing really hard. So I have to pretty much carry this game with damage, and I don't have any pen right now, so I hope you guys would be a decent buy. Even Void, Void wouldn't be bad either. I think I get haunting guys here, just for the extra health as well, because I need that bit of survivability. Quinn is actually really strong, so that's good. We could try to work off this Quinn and just like keep making her run around and make picks and stuff like that. Zed's still down there, so I can get free damage on this tower. Okay, hopefully bot can get tower. I'm probably gonna drag someone here. Okay, Gragas is bottom, so I'm actually coming. Pretty weird commitment by Gragas here, I think. I can actually jump over here, see what I can do. Okay, he ulties me. Jump out. Okay, nice jump. Okay, I actually have to back here because fucking Malphite actually threw out the rift mid. You see how I wait for his ulti to completely go off before I jump out? It's better if you do that, because then he can't really react, unless he has his W up still, but if, if you saw there, he used his W up. And I waited to take the damage, all of his damage before he ulted, and then I went in. It just makes it a lot more safer, it's easier to outplay, like that. Here, dragon. Not going too bad so far. I'm gonna wait for my super to come up again. For now, I'm gonna farm. Um, so bot is coming mid, so we can try to like coordinate and try to get that. But we can't just fall out and push it, because they have a very hard engaged team. So something like this is like a good distraction for us to like actually pick mid. So because they actually got chunk, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm ready. And Jinx. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ulti back maybe? I 
should pro probably should have jumped out, but I actually thought Chris was my team, which was weird. Um, Karma, what are you doing? We actually, we actually won that fight. Pretty good. Uh, Zed went too far for the Jinx, so we were able to do that. I had to be very patient there because I knew Zed wanted to ulti back into the shadow or or something. He was trying to juke it as soon as I went in. So once I eat in and threw my Q, he actually ulti back, and that's when I took advantage of it. I think I'm gonna go uh, Leandres into Void, or maybe Void first into Leandres. I can actually get like uh, Zanya's here and actually pay off really hard. But honestly, like, like, like I said, I I don't think we should be looking for team fights. I think I should be going for raw damage and trying to carry this on my own. So I'm gonna shove this in. Next wave is also coming. Clear words. Okay, Tristana is actually like might actually walk up here. Oh, that's over there. Yeah, I'm actually gonna farm, farm bot real quick, but we have to be careful here. If I like, if I can, I can actually maybe just like split and try to just like split push in the game, but. Okay, hold on. I should probably stick around my team. When I see Jinx and Karma, whatever, overextending on their own, I'm gonna assume that they're just gonna go for them and try to try to make a pick. So I, I'm just gonna bank on that right now. Bot's gonna push in. I think it'd be better if I like actually jump in, jump in bot, so that we can like have a place to rotate. Okay, Jinx is pushed out far. Scragus is here. Yeah, it'd be best if we actually had that shoved out. I mean, it is shoving out, but it's slow pushing. There's a time and place to slow push. Yeah, feels bad. Actually, W. Q, and then... Kind of worked off my team there because I felt like you know something was gonna happen, especially like if if my team is just in their jungle and enemies like trying to surround, you gotta hover around and see if anything actually does happen. You don't want to leave too or late. You don't want to leave too early. I mean, so Quinn was actually able to hard shove off that, so that's good. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep pushing mid. Okay, if Janet gets too close, I can maybe double blade. Okay, Zed ended up getting too close. Just back here. I actually have a shit ton of gold now. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get voice stab. If you see, there's Visage, uh, Janna has MR, uh, Malphite has MR, Zed actually has Hex Maker, so I'm gonna get voice. And then I can actually maybe go rallies if I wanted to. I think, I think Medjai's wouldn't be bad here. So I'm gonna go Medjai's. Like I said, I need to somewhat carry this team with damage, so I think I actually can. Quinn is doing a lot of work, so I have to work off this Quinn. If Quinn's gonna keep splitting, I have to try to relieve as much pressure off of Quinn so she can get as much as possible. So it's about working around your team at that point. Um, if Quinn's gonna split too, and if your team decides to go there, I think I think that's a bad choice on our team's part. I think you should let the Quinn split, or else this is gonna happen. So I'm actually gonna run bot here. Yeah. I'm actually gonna, just gonna go top here. We can't really do anything for a while. There is dragon coming up, but... That's very dangerous. They're sitting around. If you sit around a lane for too long, 
Oh my god, they actually got a kill though. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep pushing here. Okay, they probably need to bring up uh, one for me. Probably gonna get an Undrake or something. Yeah. I wonder who's gonna back for me. If it's Malphite, I can't really kill him. Okay. Okay, so I think I can actually cut him off here. I'm not gonna push towers because I think Katarina's kind of weak at pushing towers. Malphite's there anyway, so. I don't know if they. I don't think they see me coming. I tried to, um, I actually tried to, like, if I played that right and I shoot pulled correctly, I would have canceled that Trist ulti. But that Trist ulti, I thought I ended up canceling it, but I ended up not. Um, everyone's dead, so that's a free pair. Still Malphite. Malphite's the only one there. Well, let's see, what should I do? What should I buy here? I don't need, I don't think I need Zanyas at this point. Um, I can actually just build rallies and be fine with that. Yeah, if I build rallies, uh, I'd be a lot more tankier, and it synergizes well with the guys. So I'm gonna go bottom here. Wow, look at my level, 16 to 13. Uh, you see how I feel like it's because I focused a lot on farming and I try to get as much farm as possible if you saw And on top of that like all the kills that I got but honestly like even with all the kills I shouldn't be like three levels over but I balance kills and farm really well this game. So we're chilling. We're chilling we're Definitely gonna drag people bottom so what I can do here is I can actually clear their jungle Try to see who comes. See. Yeah, Triss isn't alone. I can actually still fight them if Janna isn't there. Okay, Quinn's applying pressure. You see what I mean? If Quinn's gonna keep splitting, that's really good for us. If, as long as we apply pressure and don't actually die. Okay, Kane's going really hard here. Okay, so is that here? Okay, I, have to, I have to flash here. We're good. Well, look at look at this Quinn right now. Holy shit! I think Zed is. Oh, never mind. Hold on. Okay, Zed, Zed, that's out. That's out. I'm healing with the red buff right now. I have 22 stacks on that, guys. I don't think any of this is worded. So if anyone decides to walk up for this farm, I can kill him. Like this Trist. Oh, just us. Just gonna take their jungle. Zed has no ulti. I just pace left and right just in case Malphite did want it. So I get back here. Uh, I can actually get Andrews.
I'm actually really fucking strong now with Medge Eyes, with the Pan and the Rallies. Very tanky. Have a fuck ton of damage, so I should be able to do something here. Oh, good job, team. Yeah, we should force it down at this point if it's a 4v5. Not by my ulti out here. I can actually walk around into their base and flank so they don't see it coming. So let's see, jump on the Janna first. Jump on the Gragas. Oh god, I didn't pick it up. Yeah, I didn't pick up the dagger, but it should be over at this point. Good job on the Quinn. Like I said, you gotta see where the pressure lies and work around it. I'm just gonna take the mid here. Okay, that's it. And it should be over. GG! Nice game, nice game.